Now, your storm track weather with Chief Meteorologist Matt Miller. Hot and humid weather today as the heat index made a climb up over 100 degrees for a large part of the area as expected. We still have that muggy weather in place again for tonight. Looking for a few early storms tomorrow. Doesn't look to be widespread, just a few scattered showers and thunderstorms as our cold front moves in. We'll see lower humidity moving in Wednesday night into Thursday, even part of Friday. Overall, some cooler mornings with that drier air settling in as well. Satellite shows just a dotting of a few clouds across the sky. No significant buildup of cloud cover, and you can certainly see that outside. Just a partly cloudy sky from Lawrence to Emporia, uh, west to Manhattan, mostly sunny to partly cloudy. All areas, just a hot July afternoon into the evening as well. 93 with a heat index of 103. The dew point is way up there at 74. It is muggy, a light southerly wind, and we picked up a quarter inch of rain at Billard Airport this morning from some of those thunderstorms that rolled through. Still running just a couple of degrees above the average, 70 and 93 the numbers for today. It is still 93 at Junction City, 89 Clay Center in Blue Rapids, 92 at Holton, 90 at Burlington. Muggy air with dew points up into the mid 70s for a large part of the area. That is uncomfortably humid. That sticky feel of the air driving the heat index all the way up into the lower 100s for the majority of the region. That is some pretty hot afternoon conditions today. Look at future humidity. That dark green holds in place tonight. Maybe a few thunderstorms try to push in some slight drying in the morning, but the actual front comes in in the late afternoon and evening. And this will help scour out that humidity, bringing in lower humidity air for the daytime on Thursday into Thursday afternoon and even Friday morning. A nice break from that humidity for a little while. And because of that, the heat index, while problematic today, not quite as bad tomorrow. We'll still see some 90s over the southern counties, but a larger area in the 80s as that drier air moves in. And then we cool down into Thursday morning with Thursday afternoon heat index values in the low to mid 80s, so a nice improvement as that drier air settles in. Right now, mostly sunny skies. We've got to go pretty far to the north and northwest to get into a storm system moving across the Dakotas. You see that dipping down to the blue lines. That system will skirt on by. It'll shove that front into the area, and as the front arrives, could see a couple of storms try to develop up north in the morning and through about midday trying to push through, but they will fizzle out as they move farther to the south. Oddly enough, you remember the storms and all that rain we had in the morning hours of the 4th of July? That little disturbance has rolled all the way down off of the coast of Florida. Over the next couple of days, it's going to move westward across the Gulf, possibly turn into a tropical system moving up toward Louisiana, and then come right back at us again. This gives us a chance perhaps for some showers early next week. But between now and then, it looks like we should stay primarily dry. That slight chance for some rain tomorrow morning, at about a 30% chance, high of 89. Then we cool back into the mid 80s on Thursday with lower humidity air, comfortably dry for the mornings with lower to mid 60s early in the morning hours, and then 88 on Friday. Does start to heat up again over the weekend, and the humidity makes a return. And with that system coming back north toward us on Tuesday, a 30% chance for a few scattered showers or thunderstorms. Partly cloudy sky over the Scranton area from Darlene Bogren. Just a hot summer weather pattern about to take a little break from its grip on us, which is nice. You get one of these fronts in the middle part of July, you get a little uh, relief for a couple of days, we'll take it. Yeah, for sure, because it has gotten pretty hot for yeah. a lot of folks, myself included. And of course, the old Midwestern saying, it's the humidity. It's the humidity, <laughs> yeah, if it weren't for that darn humidity.